What's going on, gang? Matt here, country song teacher. Hope you're doing well. Happy Monday or whatever day you're watching this video. I want to go over three quick things that I've done for the past, I don't know, maybe five or six years has had a really kind of big impact on my guitar play. It helped me with uh, kind of hearing chord changes, how to get smoother chord changes, just kind of switching things up. Um, and you've heard me talk about this before. That's playing guitar without a pick. So if you use a guitar pick and you're, you love it, great. If you don't, or maybe you just grab a guitar somewhere and don't have a pick, this can maybe somehow help you. The first thing I want you to do is almost act like you have a guitar pick. So magic, whoosh, no pick. Uh, take your hand and then put your thumb and first finger together, almost like you have a guitar pick, but you're gonna use the outside, so kind of the part of your fingernail closest to your middle finger, the top corner, almost act like that is a pick. With a little love and some tenderness. You're gonna play guitar, like I said, pick your chords or whatever, and don't use the pick. First, there's something about this strategy, I don't even know what the reason, to be honest with you, but when I started doing this, it made, it made such a difference in my guitar playing. So just. So that's the first thing I want you to do is work on just playing even my fingernails kind of chipped a little bit from doing that so much. Work on playing without a pick, pretending like you have one, but using your fingernail. The second thing I've mentioned in other videos is kind of the squeeze and pluck. Work on this with say just your G, C, and D chord. So the G chord, two bottom strings, fifth and sixth. Squeeze the top string and second string. And then pluck down one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Go down to your C add nine by simply moving your first and second finger down both the string to fourth and fifth, and then pluck the fifth and second. So that's a great exercise to work on. It works on timing, your chords, clarity, all that stuff. Six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three. Switch. Five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. But again, the chord starts with that first plucking two strings together, then thumping them down. And D, you can do work on the plucking the fourth and bottom string. Guys, don't worry about the speed. No matter how slow you have to go, that's fine. Go slow and just do the pluck, then picking down with your thumb. And the last thing is gonna be very similar, and that's work on without a pick, just plucking down a four count of each of your chords. So on a D, six, five, four, three, six, five, four, three, of just your thumb. On a C, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two, five, four, three, two. Go to your E minor, which is locking the two bottom strings, my way of playing it, in the fifth and fourth, and go five, four, three, two. Just like you went on C, then go to a D, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Maybe you can take the fingers on and off the bottom string. And then, like I said, when, when you even see me play guitar song, teach different songs on guitar, or whatever, practice even maybe playing some of them. Baby, close that suitcase. Just sit down and talk to me a while. I know you try. So work on playing those same songs that maybe you use a pick for. Play the same songs without a pick. So you're working on the chord changes and working on uh, uh, maybe even the track chords. 
my favorite songs you always hear me play it. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. That's just, if you want to learn that song, type in Matt McQueen, Open My Eyes. That's a, it's an old praise and worship song I used to play a lot. Uh, I had to jump in here real fast on this Monday. I've got a lot of work to do there, but I had to run home real fast and go over these three things. So work on playing without a pick with your fingernails strumming. Say you won't ever leave me. Now you're sorry. And you say you So forth. Then work on the plucking and then I'm gonna be somebody. Work on the pluck and and then pinch down and uh, I mean the pinch and pluck down and then work on obviously just a I will sail my vessel to the river on the dry like a bird upon the wing. These waters of my sky I'll never reach my destination if I never try. So I will sail. All right, guys, that's your lesson for today. If you enjoy these type of lessons, please help me out. Give the video a little thumbs up. When I say that, and smash that like button. Make it turn blue. That helps you to promote the videos. Um, your Bible verse today is, I, I was just now reading a devotional. It says, never grow weary. I think it's Galatians chapter 6. Don't grow weary of doing good. Some of you out there might be growing weary of doing good works. Uh, and I heard somebody was asking my father, and I said, isn't Christianity complicated? Isn't it very hard? We both looked at each other and said, it shouldn't be. God said, Jesus said, love others and love yourself. Love, I mean, love, other, love God and love others as yourself. So, you want joy in your life, Jesus, others, yourself. That's what that stands for. Here's your little Bible nugget to end the day, kind of start the week off with. So, please subscribe if you haven't. Turn those notifications on. We'll keep rocking and rolling. Visit my website, Country Song Teacher, countrysongteacher.com. People, somebody asked me a second ago about my piano and, and guitar video. I don't really know much about guitar. How good do I have to be to start? Those videos, the Praise in 10 Days, piano and guitar is for complete beginners. If you've never even held a guitar, I go over the parts of the guitar, a fret, each string, how to make a chord, how to play chords. So all the DVDs are very, very, very entry level. So go check those out if you're if you're a rookie just starting out. So thank you much, so much for support. God bless you.